really good at the Europeans. So yes, I think in fact four. he was Maybe. fourth, wasn't he? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Let me just check. I did make a note of it here. I think this. Yes, the Austrians were fourth, so he could. They could pick up. Although the Swiss were second. Oh yeah. So we'll see. But on course now we have uh, uh, another youngster, a French guy. Um, Pitian Kasterik, yeah, two-time junior world champion, third in the under-23s this year. He is the excite. He is the exciting future. Yeah, I, uh, French K1 paddling, I think. Yeah, he's his style is so good. I really enjoy watching, and yeah, he's so smooth and feels like he's always like that, just smashing the upstream gates, and yeah, looks like he's done it since he was so young and knows exactly what to do and his time is good it's really good actually he's uh, sitting in second position at the moment and if he finishes uh, inside the top 10 he'll knock his teammate boris nouveau out of the top 10 which that'll make for an awkward bus ride home <laughs> but uh, at the moment he's traveling really nicely there's yeah. a big gap oh, oh he's gone very low in the s but i think it's yeah, 4.5. It's going to be tight. He lost a lot there, but he's still in second position. He's he can still manage this very nice. Oh, very. Oh, I. Oh, mm, oh too much time. There. No, he's lost too much time there. Yeah, he he. Uh, yeah, losing time and yeah, putting the tail of his boat too much down when it was turning. So yeah. Yeah, that's eighth position. Yeah, he knows it. He yeah. knows it. it. Hasn't turned out the way he wanted. It was a good run up till then. You can.